scenario more just saying they can place on the tanks right before they start to engage so it's just an extra part and it just gives you more HPS. The uh, speed, the next tunnel treats the speed, you want to be taking to space at least. The reason you want to be doing this is because it's just really quick and you can blink and uh, wild charge doesn't really give you that. In, especially if you go into uh, travel form and then use wild charge, it takes a bit of time to get you out of the beams which are spawning in the, in the intermission. So if you take this place, you can quickly just blink out of the danger of the beam, which comes down, and you also have a speed buff, so you can move around if someone's healing in the back of the game, and give it healing. And now, which uh, is up for some debate, the next turn is, um, is what you take on the Incarn tree with Soul of the Forest and um, Cultivation. So we will take due to the fact that, um, you know, when people get under 60%, they get a nice hot on them, but um, I don't think it's as good as tree, because tree lines up really well with track, so that when the um, intermission hits and everyone's getting lots and lots of damage, and after he does the eradication, you can pull tree and track, and just get so much HP as well. And especially when you're not progressing, obviously some people are still progressing and growing. If you're not progressing, people are going to be more or less full HP. So if you just use, you know, tree and trank, then everyone is just going to be instantly full and they'll be full HP. And, um, next time you want to take is germination, obviously. Germination, you can double reduce. People are going to take damage, so if people are going out to drop their decimation, you can just double give them a juve. And if they take any damage, you can just give them the HPS. And then obviously last time, you always want to take flourish, just the fact that, um, at the start of the fight, you can use symbol as us you want to be standing around about here just on the right side of the raid next to the decimations so that if someone from the melee camp has to run and drop their decimation over here you can quickly just give them a rejuve as they move over just quickly give them a hot so when they drop their decimation over here you've already got uh, heals on them, so as soon as they take damage, that you're just going to get the HPS. And the main thing about Resto Druid is you need to make sure you know when damage is going to come in, so you can have people already hotted, so you can get the HPS out. And obviously, with standing over here, um, you could be in danger of getting hit by the decimation. If you're close to any decimations, you can literally just displace her this way. And with displacer in this way, um, you can also hot the tanks who are obviously going to be dropping their stuff over here. You don't really ever want to be on this side because more than likely sometimes you have a tank who wanders over here and that could kill you and then, you know, ruin ruin the logs you're trying to get. And then next, your effervescence. When you use Innovate earlier on, as I said, when you use your um, Innovate to use all your reduce on as many targets as possible, then use Flourish. You also want to put, be putting down your effervescence. The reason you want to put your effervescence down when you have Innovate is because it's a really, really high mana cost. So you want to put it down as soon as you have Innovate and you just save all that mana. You just want to be looking at your own composition here. So if you have lots of melee, you want to be putting your Effervescence in the melee group, just on top of here. And as well as it being in the melee group, tanks can also stand inside it so they can get the healing as well. But if you do have a lot of range, you just want to put it on the range group, just so that it covers as many people as possible. And obviously if they're standing in Effervescence, they're getting healed, etc. But yeah, um, I'm also now going to show you some gameplay. On my Russia Druid, on Heroic um, Garofi, where I show off some of these skills. So, yeah, I'll go to that now. But, yeah, see you in the next video. I'll be doing guides on um, Garofi, High Command, Argus, and King Garof. So, yeah, watch out for them, and see you in the next So, make sure you stay on your marks. Yeah. But thus, please. Soak. Melee, please go for soaks as well. Range, please go to the soap. There's one in the back, not soap. Don't be retarded, please. Range, spread out for soaks. <coughs> Decimation to the right now, move.
healers. I'm gonna use cooldowns on the first um, on the first pull in so no one else uses them. Soak now. One not soaked again, please. Range spread the fuck out. Decimation to the right, to the right, and dodge the beams. Dodge the beam. Dodge the beam. Okay, I'm gonna use cooldowns now, no one else use them. Okay, get ready to soak Annihilation. Annihilation now, soak. Annihilation spread out, just range, just stay spread now, and just get ready to soak all of them. Soak now. Melees go for soaks as well, that's all you gotta worry about. Well done. Now just stay spread, there's no reason to come back into the middle. Just watch where the tanks are dropping their stuff. We're dropping on the left. Soak now. Spread out. Hello. Yo, spread. Are you doing heroic? Yeah. I fucking nigga, I whispered you. No, you Why did you ignore me? Yeah, I did. I whispered you on uh, Battle.net. When? Because like, I was in bed like As 10 minutes before. That's cool. Okay, move backwards. Use Aura Mastery after this hits, please. What boss are you at? Go off first. Can I join? <laughs> please? Sure. Not with this one. I don't need gear on this shit. Boss. You can invite me now. 